I love Hong Kong. I think it's a great place. I've, I've been here many times now. I love the enthusiasm here. I mean, there's so many young people in the audience today. That's great. And so they really care about music. It was a nice response. Um, I love this program we just did. I mean, it's sort of such a mixture of pieces that I know the audience doesn't know. And then the famous César Franck at the end, but it's such a masterpiece. And I love playing with Connie. And I first heard Connie when she was about 17 in Vancouver. And then I suppose I got to know her a bit and I invited her to play with me in England not long after. Then we sort of started playing more and more. Now I play more recitals with Connie than with any other pianist. He's my favorite person to collaborate with. I mean, he's just um, amazing and like the highest level of musician. On him, so for me, it's only just joy to. Um, I think when I was younger, I used to just think, "Oh, I'm rehearsing or I'm going to perform with Stephen Isser, such a big name," and then I would get a little uptight and nervous. But now, as um, like I've gotten to know him very well, and um, well, we're we're friends, and so it's just a joy, and I get very excited about rehearsing, and it's always lots of fun. Every piece on this program has a connection with Proust, because the first piece by Ronaldo Hahn, who was his, um, his partner when they were young, very close. And then the second piece is Fauré, and Proust loved the music of Fauré. He wrote a famous letter to Fauré saying, I love your music so much, I would like to write a 300-page book about it. And then the Thomas Addis, which gave me the idea for the whole program, that his piece was inspired by Proust. And then Saint-Saëns, Proust is a little bit rude about Sansons, which is a shame because I think Sansons is a wonderful composer. But Proust did actually, despite what the program said, I think Proust did actually say that his the violin sonata in the first volumes of, um, of his great tome was inspired by Sansons, not by César Franck, but by Sansons' sonata. And César Franck's sonata, of course, was also inspired by Sansons' sonata. Yeah, I mean, there's humor. In the, certainly the Addis, the last one, the Addis, lots of humor. Um, I would say the others are more serious. There's a, uh, there's many smiles. There's a lot of joy in the last one to the Foray and the last one to the Franc. It's just full of joy. I reread Schumann's advice for young musicians and just have gradually had the idea this needs to be, this is relevant for musicians today, but they need somebody to explain why it's relevant, what he means, because his language is so different. And because he was writing in the first half of the 19th century. Um, so I had the idea to sort of interpret it for today's young musicians. And then, so that's what I've done. And I mean, much more of the book is by me than is by Schumann, but Schumann is the core of it. <laughs> 